Okay, guys, so had a rocky Monday morning. It's the 10th. Had a rocky start with Quant Crawler. We were having some really bad pricing errors. It was calculating the stop loss at 25 cents below the entry point. So I have completely figured this out. Now, I'm deploying the update between the market close and the Asia session open. So 1 p.m. Pacific Standard, 4 p.m. Eastern. The website's going to be down for about 20 minutes. Right when market closes, I'm going to be deploying this out. I want to show you the changes I made, and I'm going to tell you is how I did it was previously it was making the API calls, it was being communicated back, and then it was kicking out the chart. But it wasn't having anything to go off of as far as pricing is concerned. So is what I did. I went in to implement, essentially TypeScript is the hard-coded math with the futures in there. So if you put in a ticker that does not exist, it is going to ask you for a ticker or exist in the database, I should say. There's only a certain amount of tickers in the database. If you enter in a chart that is not already in that database, it's going to, one, automatically send me an email so I can add it to the database for future if it's one that you trade regularly. And then on top of that, it's going to make a call back to verify and validate the pricing, the tick cost, and the cost per tick then send that information back and update the actual breakdown that it gives you. So let me show you what the updated site is going to look like. That way you're not surprised the next time you log in. So first and foremost, when you get in here, you'll see here this is local, so you're not going to be able to access this now, but it is being rolled out again at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, exactly 60 minutes from right now when I made this video. And when you first get in here, this is what we found out in the live chat today. You have to turn off all the indicators before uploading, and I'll show you exactly why. This is the trade that we took in the live chat. We actually were down here at one point. We thought it was a losing trade. I was going to write it off with Quant Crawler, and now we're up $260. So we're pushing towards our $400 take profit. That's the update on the trade from today from the live chat. But when we have these indicators on here with the EMA times two and the VWAP, sometimes quant crawler was pulling the numbers from these right here instead of the actual price that it's at so if you're having it pull the wrong price you need to turn off your indicators that are throwing all of these over here because it's not knowing which one to pick up it should pick up this one it should seem obvious but it's grabbing some of these numbers at certain times as well and then calculating everything off of that that's why your numbers are wrong so you turn these off and i made everything over here in red letters with warning signs. And then again, right here, charts must only show price candles, no indicators. Now, when you were entering in the charts, it was then popping up to an option one and option two. I've got rid of that because it's too much back and forth, too many opportunities for things to break. We're going back to the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid, and I'm stupid. So we're going to keep it simple. So right here, it is automatically going to default to a $200 risk with a one to two reward. Now, I know that that's big on the MGC that we're going to look at here. And I know that that's small on contracts like ES, but it's going to default to that to immediately get the calculations on the tick and everything that we're working on and kick that out to you in the actual chat. So let's run this so you can see what I'm talking about. So is what we are going to do is we are going to upload our one minute. We are going to upload our five minute and we are going to upload our 15 minute chart. And then we're just going to send it through. Then we're going to get this. This is new at the top. Disclaimer, quant crawler may make calculation errors. All information provided is for blah. You know the rules. Current price 4121.1. We are currently at 4121.2. That's good. Entry 4120.5 with an 80% confidence. So you're basically right there. Now, posi position sizing, tick size 0.1 points, tick value $1. So our pricing is correct. Now, this is the new part right here. Option one, single contract with a wider stop. This is going to give you a very large range on stop loss to take profit if everything is volatile. And it says that right here, best for swing trades, volatile sessions, giving you a 20 point stop difference with a 40 point target for a one to two risk to reward on $200. Or... Multiple contracts with a tighter stop recommended for day trading. You can do three contracts, $67 a contract. This is your stop loss. This is your target distance to turn your $200 into $400 with three contracts instead of one. You're doubling down for tighter or tripling down for tighter spreads with the opportunity to make more money. It's more risky, but you don't want to have a 20 point difference 
on this one and a 40 point difference on your take profit, it's going to take you all day. So this one is best for scalping and day trading. You can increase or decrease your contract size. Completely up to you. Now, here's the other piece that got updated. Adjust your risk to reward. If you want a different risk amount or risk to reward, instead of the $200 and a one to two, you just need to simply type it in. So right here, I can go crazy and put $2,000. And in this exact same chat, it's going to immediately, because the math is already done through TypeScript, kick out the updated options. So it's telling you current price, entry point, then right here, $2,000 total would be a 200 point drop with a 400 point. You don't want a single contract on this. And then multiple contracts, you could look at this, but if you're really truly risking $2,000, you probably just want to be on GC, not MGC. I just did that as an example, but it's basically the math is correct. So the math is mathing when we need the math to math, if that makes sense. So then again, you can come down here and just simply put 300. It will then automatically update everything here to a 30 point and a 60 point the math is right to a 10 point and a 20 point on three contracts again the math is right so we've updated that this is going to be pushed when the market is down you need to turn off your indicators the typescript that is now implemented is automatically converting the math and as you can see here this literally is simultaneous the minute i'm going to try to scroll down the minute you type something in it's instantly kicked out your updated contract with correct math so now everything on pricing should work and again recapping with you guys if you put in a chart that the ticker is not embedded into all the typescript data and everything that i've put in there it will send me an email that someone requested a ticker that we haven't done the database on so i can add it to it if it's consistent and worth it but it also will ask you to provide it and then the api will go back out and make the call to verify the ticker size and the ticker cost per tick and then recalculate your numbers but it is going to give you the ai warning saying this was generated with ai increased risk based on numbers so you have to validate that until it actually gets in to the system so it can automatically calculate with 100 percent accuracy man we are working on this thing we being me i'm a one-man show i say we a lot there's a big team behind me there's not it's just me so keep sending in the tickets be patient with me, please. I'm doing my absolute best to tackle everything as quick as I can. But the other part, I realized over the weekend, stuff was coming in saying that isn't working. It's not that. It's just maybe it got overloaded and it was working. And then I would try to fix it. I would break it more. So we're going back to the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm stupid. We're going to keep it simple. Thanks for being here with me. And I hope this update fixes our pricing problem finally.